guys, today we're in Lower Manhattan and the first thing I'm going to show you today is a place called Cortland Alley. Now this is possibly the most famous alley in New York City. Whenever a film is being made, this is the alley that they will use if there's a scene that had features an alley. Now we're going to take a walk all the way down here, but just to give you some idea, uh, if you ever watched Boardwalk Empire, the scene where Maggie goes to visit her family, well they were stood across the street from where I am right now, but this is the alley that she came to meet her brother and her sister. So she would have pulled up actually right where I am right now, like right here, but I can't step in the road obviously. Um, but just to give you some idea, some of the other films that have been here, um, Crocodile Dundee was filmed here, uh, the Chinese film Mojin the Lost Legends, uh, Men in Black 3 was filmed down here, uh, NYPD Blue, you've got commercials, music videos, uh, Nine and a Half Weeks had a scene filmed down here, and Law and Order. Uh, that's amongst many, many films that have been uh, filmed down this alley here. So if you ever watch a film and they're in New York and they shoot it down an alleyway, nine times out of ten it's going to be down this alley right here. Now the list is endless of the amount of films that have been uh, shot down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a walk down just to see the peace and serenity. Now, as you can see, it's absolutely packed in Manhattan today. But you watch, when we walk down the alley, it's gonna go dead quiet. Now, in the scene in Boardwalk Empire, if you remember, there was, uh, washing lines going from building to building and probably not this block probably the next block along is where uh, most of them are going to be shot but as you can see we were uh... now this is actually uh, what makes me laugh these are one of the um, loading docks and I often wonder how do they uh, fill the loading docks here? You know, I mean, they make do for a good lunch counter as well. Now, there is some construction going on down there. Hopefully, there's a pathway for me to go down. take a walk across the street and see. Yeah, it looks like I can go down there. Now, I didn't say the name of it, it's uh, Cortland Alley. But it's got the old cast iron uh, window shutters there. The really old fire escapes. Imagine one of them clunking you on the head. Now, a really interesting building right here on the corner. This building here used to be the Mud Club. 
back uh, between 1979 and 1983. And this was kind of like the uh, downtown portion of Studio 54. The amount of people that walk through these doors right here is incredible. Uh, it used to be, it wasn't just the one floor where the mud club was, this is where the disco was. But all the way up they would have uh, art galleries and different shows going on up there. Oh, in fact, look, it's even got it right there. So hopefully you can uh, get a good view of what I'm doing there. That gives you some of the idea of the people that um, came here. I believe the B-52s opened this club. And uh, people like David Bowie, uh, Roger Daltrey, uh, the Ramones, uh, Talking Heads filmed here. The people I mentioned, they actually came here, not uh, performed. Uh, Andy Warhol, uh, just an eclectic mix of people. Used to hang out in this really wonderful club right here. Now it does go all the way back. So the mud club would have been like, you know, all the way down to that door there. And if you look online for some uh, pictures from the mud club, you'll see some uh, wonderful eccentric characters. <laughs> so like I said, you had Studio 54. This was like uh, the kind of punky area instead of Studio 54. So you'd have Blondie down here. Anyway, that was the Mud Club. And we're pretty much at the end of Cortland Alley here, so it's a somewhat shorter video today. But, it's the most famous alley in New York City. And I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, go ahead and film that for you. Now, as you know, I do like uh, building architecture. So let's have a quick look, see if there's anything special on this building here. Well, not sure if you can see that face right there. In fact, there's one right on the side there as well. Now most people who come to New York City, they miss out on a lot of architectural uh, building statues. Yeah, obviously you're looking straight ahead. You don't necessarily want to be looking up one or two flights, but if you're ever in New York, give it a shot. Have a look up and you'll see some amazing architecture there. <coughs> anyway. That's the video for today guys, I hope you enjoyed that and we'll be back real soon with the next video.